Have you ever wondered what makes up the 60% of your body that's water? It's a question that may seem simple, but holds profound implications for our understanding of human physiology. This water isn't just sloshing around inside you, it's contained within a myriad of body fluids, each playing a crucial role in keeping you alive and well. Body fluids are the unsung heroes of our physiology. They're the conductors of our biological orchestra, ensuring that cells get the nutrients they need, waste products are removed, and our body temperature is regulated. From the blood that courses through our veins, to the sweat that cools us down on a hot day, body fluids are integral to the smooth operation of our bodies. First, let's talk about blood. This crimson fluid isn't just a transport system for oxygen, it's a lifeline, carrying essential nutrients to every cell in your body. It also plays a vital role in immune defense, carrying white blood cells ready to fight off any foreign invaders. Then there's saliva, which is much more than just spit. It begins the digestion process, breaking down food in your mouth so your body can extract the nutrients it needs. It also helps keep your mouth clean, preventing the buildup of harmful bacteria. Sweat, on the other hand, is your personal cooling system. When your body heats up, sweat glands produce this fluid to evaporate off your skin, cooling you down. It's also a way for your body to excrete certain waste products. But it's not just these familiar fluids that are important. There are others, like cerebrospinal fluid, which cushions your brain and spinal cord, and urine, which helps rid your body of waste products. So next time you're sipping on a glass of water, remember that it's not just hydrating you. It's replenishing these vital body fluids, each with its unique and essential role. Understanding these fluids and their functions can give us a deeper appreciation of the intricate symphony that is human physiology. Well, buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into the world of body fluids. Imagine a highway system, but instead of cars and trucks, it's carrying oxygen, nutrients, and waste products. That's your circulatory system. Blood, a unique body fluid, is the lifeline of our bodies. It's not just a red liquid that flows through our veins and arteries. It's a whole world in itself, carrying the story of life, health, and disease. Comprising about 7-8% to 8 of our body weight, blood is a complex mixture of cells, plasma, and soluble factors. It's a cocktail of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets, all swimming in a yellowish fluid known as plasma. The red blood cells, or erythrocytes, are like tiny oxygen delivery trucks. They pick up oxygen from our lungs and drop it off to every cell in our body. This oxygen is the fuel that powers our cells, allowing them to perform their functions and keep us alive. Then we have white blood cells, our body's soldiers. They are the frontline defenders in our body's ongoing war against invading bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens. They patrol the bloodstream, ready to attack and destroy invaders at a moment's notice. Platelets are the unsung heroes of the blood. When we get a cut or a bruise, these tiny cell fragments rush to the site and start the process of clotting, preventing excessive bleeding and paving the way for wound healing. And finally, the plasma. This yellowish fluid is more than just a medium for cells to float in. It carries a range of substances, including nutrients like glucose and amino acids, waste products like urea and carbon dioxide, hormones, clotting factors, and antibodies. It's like a bustling marketplace, where exchange of substances keeps the body functioning. So, blood is not just a river of life, it's a lifeline, a highway of oxygen, nutrients, and waste products, a battlefield, a marketplace, and a healing force. So, the next time you get a paper cut, remember there's a whole world flowing out. Ever thought about why food tastes bland when your mouth is dry? It's because saliva, that not-so-glamorous substance we often disregard as mere spit, plays an integral role in our taste perception and digestion. Saliva, produced by the salivary glands in our mouth, is a clear liquid that's primarily made up of water. But don't let its simplicity fool you. This unassuming body fluid is a cocktail of essential elements like electrolytes, mucus, and enzymes, each having a distinct function. One of the key roles of saliva is to kickstart the process of digestion. When we chew our food, saliva mixes with the food particles, breaking them down into simpler forms. This is largely due to an enzyme called amylase that's found in our saliva. Amylase is a real workhorse breaking down complex carbohydrates into simpler sugars, making the food easier for our body to process. But that's not all. Saliva also enhances our ability to taste. Yes, you heard it right. The dissolved food particles in saliva interact with the taste buds on our tongue, allowing us to discern the sweet, sour, bitter, and umami flavors of our food.
Without saliva, we wouldn't be able to enjoy the rich flavors of our favorite dishes, rendering them tasteless. Apart from digestion and taste perception, saliva also serves as a natural disinfectant. It contains antibacterial compounds like lysozyme and lactoferrin, which help keep the population of harmful bacteria in our mouth in check. This protective function of saliva is crucial in maintaining oral health and preventing infections. In essence, saliva is not just a mundane body fluid, it's a multifunctional substance that plays a pivotal role in our health, from aiding digestion and enhancing taste to protecting us from harmful microbes. So the next time you're about to dismiss saliva as just spit, remember this. It's not just spit, it's your first line of defense in digestion and protection. It's a testament to the intricate and fascinating ways our body works to keep us healthy and thriving. Why do we sweat and how does this clear salty liquid help us? Let's dive in and find out. Sweat, a body fluid produced by our sweat glands, has a vital role in regulating our body temperature, a process known as thermoregulation. As our body heats up through physical exertion or warmer environments, our brain signals the sweat glands to start producing sweat. This sweat, composed mainly of water along with some salts and proteins, then surfaces on our skin. When sweat evaporates off our skin, it takes some of the body's heat with it. This evaporation process cools the body, helping to maintain a stable internal temperature. It's like having your personal air conditioning system that kicks in whenever you start to heat up. Now, you might be wondering, how does this sweating mechanism work? Well, it's all about a delicate balance of signals and responses. When your body's core temperature rises, thermoreceptors in your skin and brain send signals to the hypothalamus, your body's thermostat. The hypothalamus, in turn, sends signals to the sweat glands via the nervous system, prompting them to produce sweat. There are two types of sweat glands in our body, eccrine and apocrine. Eccrine glands, found all over the body, produce a clear, odorless sweat that primarily helps with cooling. Apocrine glands, located in areas like the armpits and groin, produce a thicker sweat that can develop an odor when it comes into contact with bacteria on the skin. But sweating isn't just about keeping cool. It also helps excrete certain waste products from the body, like salts and urea. Plus, the salts in sweat can help keep your skin hydrated and maintain its protective barrier. So the next time you're breaking a sweat, remember it's your body's ingenious way of keeping you cool and healthy. It's a natural process that's as vital to our survival as breathing or eating. So remember, don't sweat the small stuff, but do appreciate the sweat. What if I told you your brain is floating in a sea of fluid? Yes, you heard it right. It's not some science fiction, it's a scientific fact. This fluid is known as the cerebrospinal fluid, often abbreviated as CSF. Let's dive into the depths of this fascinating fluid and discover its critical role in our bodies. The cerebrospinal fluid is a clear colorless body fluid that occupies the space between the brain and the skull, as well as the spinal cord's central canal. It's not just there to fill the gaps, it has some serious jobs to do. Imagine your brain as a delicate structure floating in a hard skull. Any sudden movement could cause it to bump against the skull, leading to damage. That's where the CSF comes to the rescue. It acts as a cushion, absorbing shocks and preventing the brain and spinal cord from injury. It's like your brain's personal safety airbag. But that's not all. The cerebrospinal fluid also plays a crucial role in maintaining homeostasis. It helps to regulate the distribution of substances between cells of the brain and the rest of the body, ensuring that everything is working as it should. The cerebrospinal fluid also serves as a delivery system, transporting nutrients to the brain and spinal cord and removing waste products. It's like a tiny delivery truck, making sure that the brain and spinal cord get what they need and taking away what they don't. But how does this fluid get there in the first place? It's produced by specialized cells in the brain's ventricles, then circulates around the brain and spinal cord before being reabsorbed into the bloodstream. This process happens several times a day, ensuring a fresh supply of cerebrospinal fluid. So, next time you take a tumble or simply move your head, remember that there's a protective layer of fluid cushioning your brain and ensuring it functions at its best. The cerebrospinal fluid is truly a hidden hero in our bodies, playing a pivotal role in protecting and nourishing our nervous system. So your brain isn't just smart, it also knows how to float in style. What's the deal with urine and why should we care about it? You might think it's just a waste product, but urine has a much more significant role in our bodies than you might think. Firstly, urine is one of the primary ways our body rids itself of waste. Think of it like a garbage truck, collecting waste from all over the body and delivering it out of the system. 
The kidneys, the unsung heroes of our bodies, filter out toxins, excess salts, and proteins from our blood to form urine. This process is vital in maintaining the body's chemical balance and blood pressure. Now you might be wondering, what's in urine that makes it so important? Well, besides water, urine contains urea, a waste product that forms when proteins are broken down. There are also other salts, toxins, and substances that our bodies need to excrete. The color of your urine can even give you a clue about your hydration status. A light straw-like color indicates good hydration, while a darker yellow suggests you might need to drink more water. Speaking of urine color, did you know it can also indicate certain health issues? If your urine is cloudy or has an unusual smell, it might suggest an infection. Blood in the urine could be a sign of kidney stones or, in rare cases, cancer. And frequent urination might be a sign of diabetes. That's why medical professionals often ask for a urine sample. It's like a tell-all book about your body's current state. But don't worry, not all changes in urine are cause for alarm. Some foods and medications can alter the color and smell of your urine. For example, eating asparagus can give your urine a peculiar scent, and certain medications can turn your urine bright orange or even blue. So, urine, while often dismissed as a simple byproduct of our body's functions, is actually a key player in maintaining our health and can be a valuable tool in diagnosing various conditions. Next time you flush, remember, your body just got rid of what it doesn't need. Let's take a moment to appreciate the wonders of our body fluids. We've journeyed together through the fascinating world of body fluids, each one playing a vital role in maintaining our health and homeostasis. We delved into the mysteries and marvels of these internal oceans, from the lifeline that is our blood, to the often overlooked but equally important saliva, sweat, cerebrospinal fluid, and urine. Our blood, the lifeline of the body, is a remarkable substance. It delivers oxygen and nutrients to our cells, carries away waste products, and acts as a highway for our immune cells. It's a bustling city of life with red and white blood cells, platelets, and plasma all working in harmony. Our blood is the very essence of life and without it our body's functions would cease. Then we looked at saliva, often dismissed as just spit, but it's so much more than that. Saliva starts the digestive process, breaking down food even before it reaches our stomach. It cleanses our mouth, helps us taste food, and even aids in speaking. It's a silent hero, working in the background to keep our oral health in check. Next, we explored sweat, our personal cooling system. It might be a nuisance on a hot day or during a workout, but without it, our body would overheat. Sweat regulates our body temperature, keeping us cool and preventing heat stroke. Despite its slightly salty taste and often unpleasant smell, it's an indispensable part of our body's homeostasis. Our journey then took us to the brain's cushion, the cerebrospinal fluid. This clear, colorless liquid protects our brain and spinal cord from injury, provides nutrients, and removes waste. It's like a moat around a castle, safeguarding our most precious organ. The cerebrospinal fluid is a prime example of the body's intricate design and attention to detail. Finally, we discussed urine, the body's liquid waste. It might not be a popular topic of conversation, but it's an essential part of our body's waste management system. Urine helps to eliminate toxins, regulate blood pressure, and maintain electrolyte balance. It's a testament to our body's efficiency, turning waste into a vital part of our health. In conclusion, body fluids are more than just liquids in our body. They're intricate systems, working tirelessly to keep us alive and well. They transport, protect, cool, cleanse, and dispose, all while maintaining a delicate balance. Each fluid has its unique role, and together, they ensure our body functions smoothly. So, whether it's the blood coursing through your veins, the saliva in your mouth, the sweat on your skin, the cerebrospinal fluid cushioning your brain, or the urine in your bladder, let's appreciate these vital fluids for the incredible work they do. So, remember, every drop counts when it comes to body fluids.